superstar first graders welcome to your new grade one learning journey and new video we'll discover fantastic stories participate in exciting activities and learn interesting information together on this beautiful adventure so put on your explorer hats because every day is a treasure of knowledge waiting to be found in this weekly video, we will learn to spell our controlled ER, IR, and UR words. In phonics, we'll be learning about our controlled vowels ER, IR, UR, and we will learn to add endings. On Tuesday, we will be reading the informational text titled All Kinds of Musical Instruments. On Wednesday, we'll be learning about the past tense and on Thursday, we will learn about the traits and the characteristics of opinion writing. On Sunday, we will learn about our controlled words that contain ER, IR, and UR in them. And the spelling words for this week are hair, girl, bird, dirt, hurt, and turn. Now let's use them in sentences. I gave her money. You're the most beautiful girl I've ever met. I love watching birds. His uniform was covered in dirt after the soccer game. Tom got hurt when he fell down. It turned out to be a lovely day. In phonics, we'll be learning about the R-controlled vowels like IR, ER, and UR, they all make the ER sound. And the R controlled vowels occur when a vowel is followed by the letter R, which influences the way the vowel is pronounced. We use IR mostly in the middle of the word, we use ER in the middle or end of a word. We use you are mostly in the middle of a word. Let's read the words that contain I are in them, like bird, first, dirt, swirl, and chirp. Let's read the words that contain ER in them, like tiger, fern, otter, herd, and letter. Let's read the words that contain you are in them, like turtle, burn, turnip and nurse. In phonics, we will learn about adding endings. So when a word has a short vowel sound and ends with a consonant, the consonant is double before the inflectional ending ed or ing. Like the word hum. Hum, it contains a short vowel which is the u and ends with a consonant, which is the M. So when we want to add ING, we need to double the M. On Tuesday, we will read the story titled All Kinds of Musical Instruments. So All Kinds of Musical Instrument, it's an informational nonfiction story. And there are many different ways to play musical instruments. Some are played with a bow, some with sticks, and some with our hands. All kinds of musical instrument is a colorful introduction of a wide variety of instrument. Detailed photographs support students learning as they make connections to prior knowledge and practice the skill of classifying information. Now, the objective of this lesson is to connect the story to prior knowledge. We will learn to classify the information. We will learn to describe the information provided by photographs. We'll be learning about verbs in the past tense. So simple past tense indicates an action that began and ended in the past. We usually add ed to the end of the verb or we add d. So if the verb ends with e, 
we only add D. Let's read the examples here. I cleaned my room. So cleaned is the verb that occurred in the past tense. I worked hard. The simple past tense for a regular verb is formed by adding ed to the base form of a verb. And we have examples. Walk is the base form. So if we want to change it to a verb that happens in the past, we add ed to the end. So it will be walked. Talk, talked. Play, played. Dance has an E, so we only add D. Like, it ends with E, so we add D. Love, it ends with E, so we only add the D. Opinion writing or audio opinion writing. Opinion, tell your reader how you feel about the topic. The R stands for the reason. Tell your reader why you feel this way about your topic. E, give three specific examples to support your topic. The O is opinion. So you need to restate your opinion by telling your reader one more time how you feel about the topic. So parts of opinion writing, we start with a topic sentence. I think Reese's peanut butter cups are the best candy in the world. This candy is my favorite because I love chocolate. This is the first reason. Second, peanut butter and chocolate taste really good together. This is the second reason. The last reason or the third reason, lastly, they are the perfect size for you to carry in your pocket. Now, the closing sentence or restating the opinion again. That's why Reese's peanut butter cups are better than any other candy on the planet.